Hey guys, um, today I'd like to present you um, my uh, simulator and uh, that I actually just uh, finished uh, building. It took about a month uh, from the moment I started planning it. Um, then I had to order the parts, uh, put the computer together, get the hardware, and, um, and make everything work. So like I said, about a month. Now it's uh, almost ready, not there yet. Um, there's some, a few things um, that still needs to be done, uh, like the cable management. I still have to get the rudder pedals, you see there's nothing there. Um, but it's uh, already fully functional and I, I am uh, very happy with the, with the outcome. The simulator is um, is being run by uh, one computer, um, pretty powerful, um, 3.5 gigahertz uh, Haswell uh, i4770K um, processor um, that I'm planning to overclock to about about 4.2 uh, gigahertz uh, with uh, additional cooling. Um, motherboard is uh, Asus uh, uh, Maximus Hero um, 6. Mm, there's 8 gigabytes of RAM. There are two hard drives, uh, one main one SSD, uh, 120 gigabytes Samsung, which is a little bit too small now, I'm thinking. And the second one is a Kavir Black, uh, one terabyte uh, hard drive. Um, there are two video cards. Uh, the main one um, that is uh, running those uh, three main monitors is NVIDIA GTX 770. Um, it's uh, set up in the surround uh, sur surround mode, so I can have those uh, nice three monitors. Um, and the second video card is uh, NVIDIA GT 620 um, in a physics uh, mode only uh, to run um, uh, those two additional monitors which is the instrument panel and uh, uh, GPS. Uh, <clears throat> total cost of uh, building the whole thing was about a four thousand $4, dollars roughly. You know I started I started about two years ago with um, with a Satec autopilot and a set of radio one set of radio and then um, switch panel and then uh, had a lot of fun with it and I decided that uh, it's time to upgrade it and uh, I built I built uh, that uh, that simulator that is that I'm pretty happy with uh, right now mm, when it comes to the hardware uh, I have uh, three Asus monitors 24 inches uh, monitors um, there is a uh, Mm, most of stuff that I have is uh, is from Saitec. Um This one is a, a BIP or BIP uh, annunciation panel that is uh, telling me what is going on with the plane. If the landing gear is up or down, if uh, if there is a oil uh, a pressure drop, if there is uh, any engine fires, uh, what kind of lights are on, uh, and so on. Um, this is uh, an instrument uh, panel, also from Saitec, um, which I can display plenty of uh, nice features here. Uh, I can have um, um, this is for um, for uh, airliners, um, um, which is uh, pretty much a primary flight display PFD with the airspeed indicator, altitude indicator, artificial horizon, and um, an HSI instrument, kind of HSI. And we have all the um, engine performance uh, with the uh, exhaust gas temperature, cylinder head temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, you know, RPMs, and the amount of fuel. Um, this one, um, this one is um, um, this one is a navigation instrument ADF. Uh, what else we got here? Traditional. Navigation instrument um, HSI 
vertical speed indicator mm, my turn co coordinator artificial horizon airspeed and so on uh, <clears throat> here is a autopilot two sets of radios and I'm pretty much running uh, Mm, um, on, on the first one, uh, NAV1, then NAV2, then an ADF, and then a DME over there. Then the um, um, next one is a um, SATEC, um, um, SATEC uh, uh, switch panel with a landing gear hand handle, um, master switches for battery and alternator, uh, avionics master, fuel pump, uh, the ice, pilot heat cow flaps, um, all the lights um, this is a great little thing here it's um, um, a GPS, fully functional GPS um, which emulates a uh, Garmin 500 series um, it's made by uh, desktop aviator what's great about it I think is uh, <laughs> it is pretty much uh, the cheapest one on the market and works great uh, it costs about $220 um, came pretty raw um, with the with the back being uh, pretty much open mm, so so I need to this is actually you can cannot see that but I needed to build a, a little a little um, um, a little uh, box for it um, two uh, SATEC uh, throttle quadrants uh, for multi-engine aircraft and this is uh, two, another two switch panels also from uh, desktop aviator that I can assign any um, any and anything that I that I'm um, that I need um, to it. Uh, the idea was to have a very a functional um, uh, universal simulator so I can uh, train on a different type of aircraft. Uh, in real life, I'm a pilot, uh, ferry pilot, um, and I fly different types of aircraft, uh, Moonies. Cessnas, Diamonds, um, uh, TBM, um, and so on. Uh, so that you know, uh, having a universal simulator uh, allows me to train on any type of aircraft. Um, I can just download it, uh, add-on aircraft uh, from plenty of uh, stores online, and and um, and uh, train on that particular one. A uh, good thing I have here is a uh, is a uh, um, tablet, seven inch, uh, seven inch uh, Samsung uh, Note tablet with this great arm. Um, I display my approach plates on it, uh, and in the future I'm planning to add another one for uh, um, flight management uh, system for uh, for airliners, which will be located here on the on the um, right side. Um, yeah, like I said, everything is uh, running very nice, uh, uh, very good. Let's uh, let's get this to work. So you guys can see a little bit of uh, of a flight here. Uh, now it's in the heading. Let's make some turn here. And this is the add-on scenery for um, Pacific Northwest. Um, it looks really good. Uh, it's made by Orbex. Um, um, it looks really, really nice, and and it's so much better than having just the default uh, uh, scenery made by um, mm, Microsoft. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, everything is great. Uh, what I like about having. Um, uh, about having a monitor instead of actual uh, hardware gauges is that um, pretty much I can fly any type of uh, plane and having a real, real um, simulation of uh, of the cockpit right there, um, as opposed to being stuck with just uh, one type of instruments. Uh, the only thing I forgot to tell is that board. This is really great stuff. I bought it from the pilot uh, mall was about the three hundred and twenty dollars but you can make one yourself if you need to uh, from wood uh, I just bought it um, and I did a little bit few adjustments there to fit my uh, to fit the purpose um, okay this is it guys I'll, I'll be back with some more later on take care bye bye